The agitations for restructuring are political calculations for 2019 and most of the politicians advocating it will abandon it when they get power. Well, these are the views of a former president of the Nigerian Bar Association, Mr. Lisa Makuba. At a press conference held in Lagos today, Mr. Makuba urged Nigerians and especially the civil society to wrest power from the ruling political elite to achieve a new system that is inclusive and works for all. And since 1914 to date, we've not had any autochthonous, meaning we've not had any homegrown process in which people are involved in the creation of their constitution. And that's our problem. So to just go to restructuring without mm -hmm. asking some key questions, I think, is fundamentally flawed. Nigeria's sovereignty is not sacrosanct. Nigeria's sovereignty is sacrosanct for those people who are eyeing 2019. They will do this, deceive us, go to 2019, pretend that uh, uh, restructure is the issue. They are now climbing on the bandwagon of popularism. It is not in the interest of Nigerians to listen to what I call the conspiracy of the elites. The conspiracy of the elites is to be found in either the APC or the PDP or whatever new party emerges for 2019. We need to look inwards and determine how best we can grow our country. And I think we can do so by asking the real questions. And it is not for nothing that Nam De Kano has sprung up from nowhere. Let us be honest. It is not for nothing. Here's a guy who no one knew suddenly springs up. Why? Because the politicians have created the space. Politicians are not on the ground. They sit in Abuja and talk, and people can relate to their own ethnicities or subnational groups. So now they cannot see there's an opportunity to take uh, over the southeast. He goes there, he finds there's marginalization, unhappiness, poverty, and he jumps in. I have nothing, to, I have nothing against Namdi Kanu except that he must do uh, what he's doing according to the Nigerian law.